and facts 4 EU has said the two other members of the so-called Visegrad group, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, would also back Warsaw if push came to shove, posing a major headache for European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, given their hefty contribution to the bloc's GDP. The pro-Brexit think tank published their analysis in the wake of a stark warning by Mateusz Morawiecki, who accused the EU of planning to start the Third World War. Brussels is currently at loggerheads with Poland over controversial legal reforms which it claims compromise judicial independence. However, Mr. Morawiecki yesterday hit back at what he called the bloc's diktat approach. Facts 4 EU's report, using figures from the EU's statistics division, Eurostat, highlighted the massive contribution the Visegrad countries, which have a combined population of 63.8 million, make in terms of GDP 1 trillion euros in the last 12 months. It also highlights a spirited defense of Poland by Judith Varga, Hungary's justice minister, in the wake of Mr. Morawiecki's remarks. In a statement issued yesterday, she declared, Brussels must not hold a gun to the heads of the member states. The Union paints a very sad picture of itself, whose institutions are constantly threatening not only each other but also the member states, while stitching up agreements on their own principles and treaties. Ms. Varga added, the position of Hungary and Poland remains clear, the rule of law cannot be defended by violating the rule of law. We stand by Poland, we will not allow Brussels to expand beyond its own sphere of competence. Facts 4 EU spokesman David Evans said, facing battles on many fronts right now, the EU Commission shows no signs of backing down. nor indeed can it afford to, if it wants to continue its remorseless advance to becoming a superstate. Yesterday, the EU Commission spokesman, Eric Mama, hit back at Mr. Morawiecki, insisting there was no place for rhetoric referring to war among the bloc's members, Mr. Evans pointed out. He added, the ideology driving the technocrats in Brussels has always been clear, it believes in subsuming all EU member countries into one empire. One key element in this has been the subordination of the national laws and constitutions of these member countries into one ever closer union, run under EU laws dictated by Brussels. This contrasts completely with the views of the Visegrad 4. Referring to Ms. Varga, Mr. Evans added, as Hungary's Justice Minister said in a statement a week ago, we think differently about the world and Europe. She said Brussels opposed Hungary and Poland's pro-family policies, their rejection of immigration, and their push for a strong Europe of strong nations instead of an empire. He said, in effect the Central European countries such as Poland and Hungary are exposing what had gradually become obvious to British voters who backed leave in the UK's EU referendum. The key message is simple. The UK voted to take back control, referring to Ms. Varga, Mr. Evans added, as Hungary's Justice Minister said in a statement a week ago, we think differently about the world and Europe.
she said Brussels opposed Hungary and Poland's pro-family policies, their rejection of immigration, and their push for a strong Europe of strong nations instead of an empire. He said, in effect the Central European countries such as Poland and Hungary are exposing what had gradually become obvious to British voters who backed leave in the UK's EU referendum. The key message is simple. The UK voted to take back control. The EU wants to expand its control over member countries until it's absolute. Speaking yesterday, Mr. Morawiecki said, what is going to happen if the European Commission will start the Third World War? If they start the Third World War, we are going to defend our rights with any weapons which are at our disposal. But if someone will attack us in a completely unfair way, we will defend ourselves in any possible manner. We feel that this is already discriminatory and a diktat type of approach. But if this is going to be even worse, we will have to think through our strategy. 